Hey everyone, it's Tyler Strike, Universal Rackets, and today we are going to be working on how to take balls on the rise. If you learn how to take balls on the rise, you'll be able to number one, not hit high balls because you're not gonna let the ball get up there. And number two, you're going to be able to take the ball earlier and put pressure on your opponent. So what is on the rise, okay? What is on the rise? Think, on the rise is when you hit the ball off the bounce. Before the ball bounces and gets up, instead of letting the ball get up, you're going to let it bounce and you're going to take it before it gets up high. Again, so you're going to take the ball before the ball gets up to your strike zone. You're not going to wait for the ball to come to you. You are going to go to the ball. And we will get into detail in what I just said further in this video. Once again, you are not going to let the ball come to you. You are going to go to the ball. So here we are. So if, if it's not on the rise, it's going to bounce like normal, and then I'm going to hit it about here. But if the ball's on the rise, it's going to bounce, and before it even gets up, I am going to hit it, right? So again, the ball is going to bounce, and then I'm going to hit. So instead of hitting up here, I'm going to hit much lower, okay? Now, when you do this, the first thing that you have to do is time it, right? The number one reason why a lot of players have trouble hitting the ball on the rise is because they can't time it properly. Timing is key. Think, normally you have so much more time than if you let the ball bounce, you're gonna have so much less time. So you have to demonstrate proper timing or you have to execute proper timing. So Tyler, how can we execute proper timing? How can we learn how to time the ball on the rise every single time? That's easy, okay? Think, when you hit a normal ball, the ball is gonna come, it's going to bounce, and you're going to hit. Again, I'm gonna hit it back and I'm gonna turn, it's going to bounce, and I'm going to hit. Forehand turn, bounce, and it's going to hit. Now, instead of bounce and hit, it's going to turn, bounce, hit. Turn, bounce, hit. Instead of one, two, and three, it's going to be one, two, three. One, two, three. As soon as the ball bounces, you are going to hit it. Once again, as soon as the ball bounces, you are going to hit it. So, in order to learn and understand the timing, you're going to say it out loud. That's the first thing, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna be out on court and you're gonna play and all you're gonna say is turn, bounce, hit. Turn, bounce, hit. Turn, bounce, hit. Turn, bounce, hit. You're going to say turn, bounce, hit to your opponent or your practice partner because when you're learning this, you shouldn't just try in a match, okay? So turn, bounce, hit. Turn, bounce, hit, okay? By saying bounce, hit, it's going to teach your muscle memory and it's going to register in your brain that you have to, right after a bounce, you have to hit. Say it out loud, it's going to teach you that timing, okay? Also what you can do is, you don't even have to have a racket, okay? You can toss a ball, turn, bounce, hit. Turn, bounce, hit. Oh, can't catch it, but if you catch it, you're good, okay? Now, after we do that, after we establish the proper timing, now we have to get into getting our body in the proper position, okay? you have to get up to the ball. Remember I said before, we're going to be going over this again, you have to go up to the ball. You don't let the ball come up, come to you. So when the ball is up here, instead of letting the ball come to me, I need to move up to it. So the first thing you have to do after you understand the timing is you have to understand in order to get to the ball and hit it on the rise, you have to move up to the ball. You have to be impatient. You're not waiting for that ball. You are going to the ball, okay? So if I have a ball up here and it's on the rise, watch, instead of me waiting back here, if the ball's bouncing here, watch, I am moving up to it. I am not letting that ball go. If I have a backhand back here, right, and it's on the rise, right, I am moving up to that backhand. I am not letting the ball go, okay? So you have to move up to the ball. Now, a great drill to learn how to move up to the ball and to get that on the rise, um, swing is all you're going to do is you're going to get a couple balls, you're going to toss it up in the air, and you're going to run up to it. So here we are. I'm learning on the rise, right? Tossing up in the air. Here we are. Bounce it. Here we are. Let's go. Let's go. Turn. Bounce it. I got to get under it. Here we are. Turn. Bounce it. So just toss balls, and again, right after they bounce, run up to it and take it on the rise, okay? Take it on the hop, okay? Now, after you start getting, going up to the ball, then once you move up to the ball, you need to make sure you keep your body down. Again, once you move up to the ball on the rise, then you have to, so then after you move up to the ball, you have to keep your body down. A lot of players, they go wrong on the rise. They have the proper timing. They're moving up to the ball, but then they hit 
and they swing and then they pop their body up okay if you pop your body up where is the ball going to go guys the ball is going to go up you need to make sure that you keep your body down when you hit on the rise okay you need to make sure you keep your body down and forward so instead of moving up to the ball right i move up to the ball i time it right and i pop up with my body i want to make sure that my chest is facing forward so for a forehand you want it to look like this you see look my head's down my body's facing down and forward it's not all the way down it's not up my chest if there was a laser that came through it, you could roll a pencil right down okay same thing for my backhand right so here we are i'm going to turn here we are boom i move up again and i am keeping my body down and forward you want to make sure that you do that okay after we keep our body down and forward you have to ensure that you follow through every single time, okay? So when I hit now, okay, I'm going to turn, I'm moving up. Look, I'm keeping my body down and forward, okay? Same thing for the backhand. Here we are. So I'm going to turn and I'm going to, again, keep my body down and forward. Hopefully I can get under it. Here we are. I'm going to turn. I'm going to keep my body down and forward, okay? Guys, I'm so sore. I played, I don't even know if I can say this on this channel, but I played a pickleball tournament yesterday. I got a gold medal. I've never moved. My hips are killing me. I've never moved so much side to side in my life. Pickleball, you'll get way more sore than playing tennis because you're doing so much side to side movement, okay? So again, you need to make sure, hopefully you'll hit it in unlike me, but you want to turn, you want to keep your body down, and then you want to make sure that you fully follow through, okay? Now, the next thing I encourage every single person is when you're playing on the rise, you need to play with tons of topspin, okay? Think, on the rise, it's more risky, right? There's more margin for error, or sorry, less margin for error, right? Timing, it's so precise. How do we increase our chances of getting the ball in? By hitting with topspin. So if you're already playing so risky, you want some assurance or insurance on your shot, right? So don't be playing flat on the rise. Play on the rise, but play with tons of topspin, okay? So when you move up to this ball, make sure you move up and you really brush the ball, you brush, you play with tons of topspin and you keep the ball in. So again, step number one, get the timing now. Turn, bounce hit, turn, bounce hit. Step number two is what? We're moving up to the ball, we're not letting the ball come to us. Now, after we move up to the ball, we're keeping our body down, we're following through, and last but not least, we are playing with tons of topspin. Now, this is how you learn on the rise. It's gonna take a lot more practice, but you have the tools to do so. So now, go out on court, get a ball machine, get a hitting partner, it's pretty steady, and try to do this. The more you do it, the more you're gonna become familiar with it, and the more comfortable you're going to be with hitting these on the rise shots. Again, on the rise is so good. It takes time away from your opponents, and also it's not going to allow you to get super high balls anymore. Now, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if this video helped you, or if you absolutely hated it, please let me know in the comments below. If you want me to continue to make more of these videos, make sure to watch more of my videos, make sure to share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out my Instantly Improve My Forehand and Instantly Improve My Serve ebook, and make sure to follow me on Instagram, Tennis with Tyler. Have a good one, happy hitting, and I'll see you guys next time on court.